The dawn casts golden sparks over Gaula's tides. Daylight fills the water with a lovely shade of emerald. The evening sun drones the river in shining bronze. But when night comes, Gaula's silver arrives to lend the river its real glow. The Gaula Valley, with its lush green mountains and hills, the river with its green shimmering water and the stillness of the night, has for hundreds of years lured salmon fishmen from near and far. Beside its magnificent wilderness, the Gaula offers a silvery beauty that can give you a struggle to remember for the rest of your life. Each season, each fishing week, each fishing trip, in fact every cast you make, pulls you closer to the big salmon. Everyone dreams of it, and every year someone's dream is fulfilled. The Gaula is a 95 km salmon run up to Eggafossen and has much to offer to the fly fisherman. A stretch totaling 120 km is fished, including the tributaries Sukna and Bua. Each year between 20 and 30 tons salmon and sea trout are caught. There are many fine fishing sites and you can hire your own pool together with some friends and take part in exclusive fishing. If you want to buy a fishing license, there are many pools where you can share the fishing with other fishermen. Det er akkurat like morsomt hver eneste gang, og den dagen det ikke er morsomt lenger da skal jeg slutte. The salmon fishing has influenced the way of life in Gaula Valley, and the salmon is a symbol of Stören and is found everywhere. If you need help, there is a tourist information center at Laxe Center in Stören, where help can be received and you can hear the daily catch reports from the different parts of the river. Salmon fishing is the heart of the village. The characteristic of Gaula is that the river is unregulated and that gives us the natural fluctuation that belongs to the river during rainy and sunny periods. If it's a lot of rain, the river is high, and when the weather turns good, the water level sinks. But whatever the water level in Gaula is, you can always fish and you can find good fishing spots almost everywhere. The sea trout fishing is also very good, especially in August. 
It's a fish that might be less popular than the salmon, but the sea trout can give a lot of exciting moments, especially for the fly fishermen. Nature alone makes the Gaula Valley worth a visit, but somewhere inside is a dream, a dream of the big salmon. This dream is kept alive year after year, and to friends that don't fish salmon, you seem like a fanatic. Salmon fishing is like all other types of fishing, until the first 10 kilo salmon strikes. A summer pastime then becomes a part of your life, sometimes the most important one. Endless days and nights of fishing, Thousands of casts and many flight changes. Backache and feeling hopelessness. Thoughts fly around in the head. Won't I catch a salmon this year? Suddenly the loop jerks from the hand. The rod rises automatically and it takes a while to realize that the salmon has struck. Every salmon fisherman describes the strike as a magic moment when the whole body shifts from idle to explosion in a few seconds. The moment is indescribable with pictures and has to be experienced. After a long period of time without fish, the strike comes as a release. In a second all the misgivings, tiredness and disappointment have been replaced by excitement and happiness. In a cascade of exploding water, the salmon runs like a racing car. I've got a bite, that's my salmon jumping out there. The more time expended before the medical bite, the happier one is about the reward.
Sokna is a river that gives the fly fishers various challenges. There are many streams and some deeper parts, and some people may find the river too small for traditional fly fishing. But if you walk along the river, you will always find pools good for fly fishing at any time and any water level. There have been shelves with books written about how salmon fishing is done. Each salmon fisherman has highly personal theories about salmon fishing. It's about casting techniques, fly rods, fly lines, fly pattern. The best time to fish and which pools are the best. Few fishermen have totally personal ideas. They combine different theories and draw their own conclusions. This is the charm of salmon fishing. There is no right way. The only sure thing is that if you believe in your way of fishing, then you fish better. The only point uh, that all books agree on is to listen to experienced fishermen and we let Jonas Hammerstedt, fishing guide at Stören Hotel, relate his experiences. Ja, då har vi satt upp några flugor här som Well, som I've chosen some flies that are generally used here in Gaula. I will start with the big fly for the beginning of the season because we often have high water in the early season. If you look at this one that I call Gaula Flash, a very big fly with large volume and a lot of flash in the wing. It's a very good at high water level, but it can also be used later in the season. Every time we have a rainy period. Så är den alldeles utmärkt att fiska i. Varje gång du har en regnflom så sätt på den. Den är fin. In June we can also use the sunray shadow. It's a very good fly throughout the season. In July and August we often use it for silhouette fishing close to the surface. There are few flies that catch more fish than sunray shadow in the river. Och fiskar den ganska ytligt. Det är väl få flugor som kanske tar mer fisk än, än vad just Sunray Shadow gör i denna älven. När vi kommer vidare ut på säsongen i juli och augusti alltså då, då får vi ju många gånger lite lågvatten eller middelsvatten. Further in the season we often have periods of low and medium water. And now we can use small traditional flies like silver lemon used at low water and especially in the daytime. På liten älv och gärna på dagen så har vi thunder lightningen som är en väldigt... Then we have thunder and lightning, a good all-round fly. It's very good both day and night and through the whole season. Well, as I said, put on a big fly like Gola Flash every time we have a period of rain. You can also fish with their sunray shadow. It's always a good choice. When the salmon finally strikes, the fight begins and once again each fisherman has his way of hooking the fish, playing it and landing it. Fishing companions gather and everyone gives instructions on how to play the fish. It's nearly as exciting as hooking your own salmon, but only just. This is many fishermen's dream, 
a big salmon of 13 kilos. Gaula is truly an international river. Here fishermen gather from different countries with different experiences and an especially highly personal connection with Gaula. Jeg tager til Gaula fordi det er en brorfluefiskel. Det er en brorfærg som vattnet har og det passer med de brorfluer som findes og det skal være svarte fluer. Jag fiskar här i sen 68 va? varje år, så det är 28 säsongen i år. Va? Och det har blivit en del lax under de åren. Va? Hur många det vet jag inte, men det är många roliga lax här. De kanske inte har varit världens största, men 10, 12 och 13 kilos fiskar är ju inte så dumma heller. Va? Och många av dem har ju hamnat på en sån här fluga, va? en red butt, va? som jag tycker är ett supermönster här i Gaula. Kusbotta on käynyt täällä ja se miksi käyn on erittäin vaikea joki kalastaa. Kalat on isoja ja taistelee hyvin ja mikään ei ole helppoa. Jos tahtoo helpolle joille kalaa, niin silloin ei pidä tulla tänne, koska tämä on yksi vaikeimpia jokia mitä on. Nyt pitää osata heittää. Well, I'd like to say that this has been my finest week, the week's holiday. I'm pleased to have caught a 12 pound salmon and I'm going out very shortly as this is my last day. I'm hoping to have better results. The salmon glides along the river's way so slowly and silently playfully easy through small cascades and undercurrents, so elegant and graceful. Some rests take their time. They are filled with quietness sublime. Along the banks stand the fishermen, hoping to catch a salmon again. Fishermen all in row and line, they are happy and having a good time. Waiting in suspense day after day, interesting flies and lures lighten the stay. Suddenly a jerk tensions the rod throughout. The fisherman feels happiness and doubt. A splish, a splash, excitement is released. A hard fight and the fisherman is pleased. The salmon splashed in leaps and gives a struggle with strains. But the fisherman desperately tries full control to regain. And with luck he will win the game and reel in the salmon all the same. With coffee and beer and aquavit, they celebrate the Salmon's defeat. And happiness and sadness go hand in hand along the river where friends all stand. Ja, 
Det kommer ju liksom aldrig värja. Nu har det ju sol också i två här. Men där. Gaula is a river where fly fishing is an old tradition. In 1835 the first Englishman came to Rockstad Farm in Stören. Bogen, Talsnes, Vinsnes, Vilmansöja and Dragosöjan are other farms where Englishmen stayed and fished. In time more English houses were built for the guests and typical for these were the porches where tea and whiskey were enjoyed. The fishing beats were given English names with pool instead of herd, for example Langpool, Stenpool, and the place where Mr. Buckle and Mr. Horndon lost their silver flask, that became known as Flaskepool. Gaula came to be known as Norway's third best river. The summer of 1848, Mr. Roger and Mr. Hunt together caught 266 salmon. Many Englishmen were very helpful to the locals and were therefore well liked. Mr. Gordon, who was a doctor, often visited the sick and elderly to help, and received as payment woolen knitted socks or something else typically in Norwegian. Mr. Gordon lived in Vilmansöja and was the best known of the Englishmen in the valley. In 1887 there was no doctor between Raros and Mellos, so Mr. Smith, another English doctor, was often sent for. He also had time to fish for salmon and caught 107 salmon in that year. Conflicts did occur occasionally and once when an Englishman was out fishing in the boat he saw a Norwegian from the village net fishing in this pool. The Englishman became livid and asked the oarsman what penalty for taking a life was in this country. The oarsman replied that it was a life for a life whereupon the Englishman calmed down and holstered his revolver. The English had found their fishing heaven in Gaula and returned year after year. Mr. Reginald James from Devonshire was one of the most frequent and he fished in Gaula each summer between 1853 and 1890. One summer Mr. James caught 100 salmon in one week. The Second World War meant the end for English fishing and now there are a few deserted farms and memories from time past. Wall paintings at Dragos Oyen tell of the big catches. Old rods and reels from the Englishmen's days are still at the farms and many memories are often related to them. My father got this rod from Englishmen that he was guiding and rowing for in Gaula. It was used up to the 60s, uh, and uh, I can tell you a story from 1946, when my wife's grandfather was here fishing. We fished from the boat in the Sæterhøland, and uh, we hooked a good salmon. Immediately after the salmon had struck, the rod broke. We played the salmon for a while, and then we took the boat to the bank. When we were trying to gaff the fish, I heard another bang from the rod, and the top came sliding along the line. I was standing in the water with the gaff, and I pulled the line up with my hands as quick as possible. Then I hit the gaff into the salmon, and I pulled it up from the water. It was 18 kilo salmon. Den vågde 18 kilo.
Seconds after the strike, thoughts rush through your head. Will the hook hold? Hope it doesn't give. Will the leader hold? After losing a few salmon, reasons are sought after and you hope that this salmon will be landed. Exciting beats along the gaula, and besides fishing, nature gives you total fulfillment. Listen to the nature's sweet harp, beautiful tones in minor and sharp. The stream plays a rhythm, the wind a beat, falling raindrops pound the cheek. Blades and leaves rock and shiver, it bubbles and boils in streams and the river. Bushes and trees swing in the rhythm, the music plays no longer hidden. Living music with the best of sounds, inspiring, beautiful, it will astound. The orchestral players abound, under heaven, a wonderful sound. Summer fishing gives many memories to treasure and many return year after year, living in between seasons on memories from earlier record catches. Ja, ich bin begeistert von der Gaula, weil ich habe gestern einen 6 Kilo Lachs gefangen und es ist ein sehr schöner Fluss. Fluss. Uh, we are here now for the second time uh, with our tents and uh, we like this part uh, especially because uh, there are four pools which are uh, very good to fish and because we are beginners uh, we came back to this place to learn the water better and to learn the, the fish better and I think it's, uh, it's paying off that we are here for the second time. This, this river gives you the chance of catching a real good fish and uh, it's a real challenge because you know the big fish are out there. Uh, I love Gala River. Uh, there are two reasons for me. And one is uh, the river is very beautiful, clear water. In Japan, we have many uh, clear water river, but small. Uh, this river is big, but very nice water. And the second reason, the fish is very beautiful, bright, big, and strong. That's why I love Gaura very much.
A lot of time is used in changing flies, and many beautiful ones are produced during the winter. Fly boxes are well packed, but which flies will lure the fish? How important exactly are the flies, and must they have a specific look? Uh, this fly I got from a salmon fisherman 12 to 15 years ago. How many fish I caught with it, I don't know. But two years ago, I caught 25 salmon with it. While awaiting the salmon, a hot dog, taste is good and tactics can be discussed for the evening's fishing with your fishing companions. The sun sets and a new evening has begun. A new fly, a new cast and yet another chance at the big one. Sit by the flowing stream and let off the steam. Sit by the forest pond and let your thoughts go far beyond. Sit by the rapids roaring and stop your thoughts from soaring. Sit by the winding river's flow and thoughts of paradise will grow. Sit by the mirror of the lake, and stressed thoughts will finally 